I also get a lot of questions, how do I stabilize my footage? As I've explained before in the camera section, you can do the in-camera stabilization. Then I would highly suggest you go with the new GoPro 9. They bought a uh, real steady, that's what I have heard. So the in-body stabilization for FPV of GoPro 9 is really good uh, compared to the older models. The one on GoPro 8 works also, but it's not as good as the, as the GoPro 9. I personally stabilize all my footage with an external software. It's called Real Steady Go, and I will also put it in the description. And actually, I want to directly jump into the stabilization software. I want to give you some like advices how I do it. So this is basically, if you start Real Steady, that's, that's how it looks. And it's, it's a very simple, a very simple um, interface. So you basically gonna load your video. So you go you to your hard disk drive and you're gonna select one of your drone flights. I'm gonna recap important. If you record, turn the GPS off on your GoPro and turn the stabilization off on your GoPro. And also when you record, record the four by three format. So on the GoPro 8, that would be 4K, 30 frames per second, four by three. And all right, so, okay, that's the, the demo version. That's why you have it. But once you bought it, it's like $99. I think it's, it's definitely worth it. And this like demo is going to disappear. So in the older versions, you had like, you had to put some keyframes. You don't have to do it anymore on, unless you use the horizon lock, which you probably don't use that much. But now you can see that real steady is like playing back. That's this cursor here. So what I always do is you find basically um, the spot which you want to stabilize. That's basically, uh, by, base, uh, by the way, a shot I took on, on the Faroe Islands. And now I go forward and I know, okay, that's actually where I want to start stabilizing. So I move the front part, like the first part to here. That's the cursor. I move forward and I go, okay, I want to actually stop stabilization here once I moved my friend running. Well, actually, let's select only this short part. Yeah, it starts there, so I'm going to basically select this part until I, I passed him. And then I take like the ending. Oops, I take the ending. And I'm going to define, OK, that's the section. You basically define the section you want to smooth out. Sometimes if I have like one run, like one video with a lot of good runs, I just like render out the entire video instead of like going section by section. You can see this, the cursor starts automatically just going forward to the next shot, but that's the section. So the next thing I wanna do is you go to these settings and that's basically the configuration um, I've, I've experienced works very well for me. So I go usually, you can basically play around with smoothness and cropping speed. And I go usually down two on smoothness but then on cropping speed, I go like almost to the very right. And what that does is like how fast it, it crops in. So when it, when it stabilizes, it's, it's cropping out and it's cropping in. And by having that high, it does this cropping less fast. And I prefer that. And sometimes I don't want to have it too, too, too over smooth. I want to still have that FPV look. Um, it already looks pretty much like CGI, but I don't want to go too crazy much on CGI. So I put these, the top two to the left, and the cropping speed all the, like almost all the way to the right, and then I press OK. So it's basically recomputing the smoothness, and once that process is done, you can basically save the video, and then it's you see, then you save the video and it asks one more time, are you sure? And you press OK. And then it starts rendering out the video. Once that smoothing process is completed, 
you get a file with the original file name and smoothed, um, like smooth in the name. And when you click on it and you play it back, you see that it's rock solid. It, it looks really nice. Like when I play it back, it's super stable. You're gonna lose some sharpening because of just what the software is doing, of the recropping and yeah, of what it actually does. It can also be that if you have a lot of wind and some micro vibration, this can happen due to wind, due to your flying behavior, how you go on your sticks, or if, you're, if your prop is bent or something, it could be that it also gets jittery for a, a, a certain second. I mean, I would say in 90%, in 95% of the time, you get a really, really good smooth, um, really good smooth footage, but in 5%, I mean, also the software cannot just basically get rid of everything. So just to, to, to keep that in mind. You 